Hello and welcome back to Seasons on Erlengrat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am the Sim Farmer and I hope you are having a great day. I also hope you had a great Christmas and a new year as well, guys. So, yeah, I haven't put a video out for a couple of weeks. I've had a, a nice long Christmas break. The children have been off school. So, yeah, I've been spending a little bit of time with them. And, yeah, I'm hoping to jump in this week and start again with three four videos a week but yeah as most people will probably know england has been put into a national lockdown so the kids are still home from school and yeah i don't know exactly when they're going to be back so at the moment i'm expecting to be getting one or two videos out a week but yeah, thanks for bearing with me and continuing to watch them. I really, really appreciate that, guys. So, we have just fed the pigs. And yeah, I fed all the animals already this morning. I've watered them all. They've all got straw and they are all clean and tidy. So yeah, all the animals are nice and happy. So, what else have we got in store today? Well, we've got some weeding to do. All three of my fields need weeding. They are going to get sprayed with herbicide. So, that will get rid of any weeds that we've got. And it will also stop any more coming through. So, that will be great for the weeds. And we don't need to worry about those again. Also, we have got one more field to finish off fertilising. Now, as it was a couple of weeks ago, I can't really remember the last time I fertilised. It was either just before or just after actually putting the crop in. It was the sunflowers. Now, if it was just after putting the crop in, I'm going to have to wait to give that field the last fertilisation as the crop hasn't come through the soil as yet but i am going to buy a muck spreader a manure spreader to do that and yeah i will buy that today even if i don't get to use it today so we are in the axion 870 and that is what we are going to use to do the weeding first of all though, i need to get some narrow tires some care tires put on because the wheat I think is in the second stage of growth and if I go through that with these wide tyres on then all I'm going to do is damage the crop so let's get to the narrow tyres oh, I'm hoping it's ah okay I don't think they've got wide tyres for this sorry narrow tyres okay I thought they did do you know what it's because I've got the Yes, I have. I've got the Mittas tyres on. I needed the Michelin. So, yeah, there we go. Now, have they got a double wide tyre? I can't... A twin wide tyre. I keep saying wide, I mean narrow. I don't think they have. They've just got the, the single narrow tyres. But, yeah, that will do fine. That will basically stop me from... from destroying my crop as I'm driving through it, which is great. So, let's go and get the sprayer. I think it will have some fertiliser in it at the moment. But that's not a problem. We'll just get that taken out. And we've got plenty of herbicide to be going along with. I bought, what, four or five... I think it was four herbicides before I even started the game. And, yeah, they are still there. I haven't used any yet. So... Yeah, I'm going to have plenty to to do the three fields. In fact, to tell you the truth, I think I'll probably be able to do the three fields with just a couple. Oh, bit too heavy there. There we go. We'll pick that up. So I haven't got any fertilizer in the rear tank. Have I got some in the header tank? I can't really remember. As I said, it's just over two weeks ago since... I was on this save game so and yes so we've got some fertilizer in the header tank so I'll get that taken out and get filled up with herbicide and I think that should be enough to do the three fields we'll have to wait and see so I'll just offload that here 
There we go. And we'll turn around and what have I got? Yeah, it looks is it four herbicide tank sale? Yeah, one, two, three and four. So like I say, I think I'll only go through a couple of these. We'll get that filled up. And there we go. And then I'll turn around and do the main tank. There we go. Back up there. Great. I've got to remember to put the fertilizer that I've just emptied out of these tanks. I, I, I need to remember to to clear that away and keep it nice and tidy. I like to keep my farmyards tidy. Sometimes I forget. So let's just hope I don't forget and we get rid of that by the end of the episode today. We'll see. Okay, so field 12, if memory serves. It's definitely this one just in front. There we go. And like I say, it's in the second stage of growth, I think. So, yeah, if I didn't have these narrow tyres on, then I would definitely be destroying the crop. But yeah, don't need to worry about that. And the tyres didn't cost me anything either. So, yeah, that's great. So, we'll just back up here. I'm going to have the usual problem by knowing exactly where I've sprayed. Started a little early there. And there we go. Now, if I go for a bird's eye view, then yes, I can see a bit better how much I've sprayed. Or where I've sprayed. The ground's that little bit darker. But the further in you go, the nearer to the cab, or obviously in cab, then it is really, really hard to see where you've already sprayed. So, I'll try and keep it about here probably and yeah I'll go around the headland get it all sprayed and get those weeds killed off so I've nearly finished up this field then I've just got one strip left to do it's quite a narrow strip I'm actually using more herbicide than I would have liked here but yeah I, I need to go down the strip and get rid of those last few weeds might have just gone off track a little bit there whilst I was in cab just get back on track there it was just off centre where they w there was just a small strip with a few weeds on it I'd done the headland I'd come up and yeah like I said they, they just that little bit that was missed out nothing I can do about it so yeah and once we've got down here then we'll move on to the next field the next one is going to be the corn field and to tell you the truth that will be even harder to tell exactly where I've been where I haven't been the corn is obviously a bigger crop it's it's more bulky and even though it's in an early stage of growth it's nigh on impossible to see the ground when you're spraying the corn so yeah I just need to make sure I get everywhere even if I go over some places more than once and as long as I don't miss any then I'll be happy the worst thing would be to go along miss a strip and then we'd start to grow up there later on that's what I don't want to happen so there we are with field 12 and yes all the weeds have gone so I'm really happy with that so over to field 21 and 22 okay as I said here we are at field 22 the corn field we'll just get the boom extended and we'll get this field weeded as well now I think I might be able to see the ground a little better than I expected so let's just see well I can see the ground but it doesn't seem to be changing colour at all usually it goes a bit of a darker colour when you're spraying I wonder, do you know what I'm thinking maybe the crop hasn't grown in fact no it won't have the crop won't have grown since the last time I sprayed the field yes I sprayed it with fertiliser but that will have changed it to the darker brown effect which 
it has got right now and yeah because I'm spraying the the herbicide on it it's just not changing it will be killing the weeds it will be doing the job that it needs to do but yeah because the the soil hasn't changed texture at all then it's making it even harder to to see exactly where I've gone never mind I'll just as I said earlier if I go over an area if I overlap a little bit that's not too much of a problem just as long as I don't miss any it's not a huge field so I'll just go around the headland I'll probably only have to go back up and down to maybe three times probably two to tell you the truth we'll have to see but yeah I'll have to bear that in mind for the future it would have been a lot lot easier yeah I, I can't see at all any any markings at all where I've sprayed so yeah it would have been a lot easier if I'd waited for one more crop growth stage but then as I'd said earlier on the the crop would have bulked out a little bit and it would have been harder for me to see the the actual soil anyway so yeah it's uh it's a difficult one to to say is that but yeah I've uh, I'm quite happy with what how we're getting on here and we'll get the get rid of the weeds that's the main thing and I think I've got enough herbicide left in the tanks to do both this and field 21 field 21 will be much much easier because as you can see the crop hasn't come through yet so I will be able to see exactly where I have been so yeah that will be nice and easy so let's just get the last part of the headland done here start spraying just about there and yeah like I said I'll probably two maybe three times up and down the field here and we should be rid of all of those weeds so once I've finished up the weeding as I've said I want to get field 21 finished with the fertilizer but I thinking about it I am pretty sure that I did the last fertilizing after I planted the sunflowers so I am going to wait for the the crop to come through the ground and then I'll, I'll get that done but yeah I'm going to get the muck spreader today now how much money have I got there I think that's 60 60,000 just over and I've been having a look at the muck spreaders um, I want a good capacity one they can go through the manure so so quickly I don't want to have to keep coming back to and fro from the field to the farmyard so I want to get a, a quite high capacity one and it can cost a bob or two to tell you the truth uh, the one I was looking at but well, there was one at I think it was 69,000 and the other one was 99,000 I'm still unsure on which to go for but I'm I'm swaying towards the 99,000 that was I think 32,000 litre capacity off the top of my head and yeah I should be able to get one of these fields done with that no problem and yeah I won't have to keep going back to the yard and refilling so I'm going to get that today but obviously I haven't got enough money so I'm going to use some of the milk I've got I don't know how much milk I've got over a hundred thousand liters and yeah I'm going to get that sold not all of it I don't need to sell it all straight away and yeah I'll I'll just sell one or two tanker loads of that and that should quite easily pay for the muck spreader and probably leave me some left over so that's all of the weeds on field 21 gone but I'm pretty sure I haven't spread this part ju just here 
So, yeah, that's probably just... They haven't had any weeds coming through here just yet. But if I don't spread it, spray it, should I say, then, yeah, the weeds will come through. So, I'll just finish off here. And that should be that. And I shouldn't have to worry about either this field or field 12 again until harvest time. Looking at the weather forecast though, I think I will have to worry about them a lot during harvest time because it just looks like rain after rain after rain. So yeah, I don't know how I'm going to cope with that. I have got a big harvester with big headers. You know, I went for those specifically because I knew that this geo that I'm using had a wet autumn, a wet harvest season. So, yeah, I thought the big, the bigger the harvester, the bigger the header, the quicker I'm going to get the job done if I've only got a short window of time to get the harvest in, then yeah, that's why I've gone for the the largest equipment I could get my hands on. So, yeah, and I'm still a little bit worried about it there, to tell you the truth, because it takes quite some time after a rainstorm for the, the crop to dry out, and I really can't see much of, much dry spells during the summer and, and, and the autumn. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes, but I'm, I'm really dreading having three fields of withered crop because they were all wet. Now, there is one thing I have been thinking about to do with that, and I've never really thought about it, I've never really tried it before. I have been thinking about it because I, I knew that I had a, a wet wet geode that I was using on here with the forage harvesters I don't know I, I, I'll be honest I haven't used them that often with the forage harvesters can you can, can, can you do it when it when it's wet I know with a combine harvester you can't but with a forage harvester if you can do it when it's wet then worst case scenario would be my crops are all too wet and they're staying wet throughout the the harvest season and if it's obvious when they get to the final stage before they get withered if they are still wet then and it's obvious that they're not going to dry do I get a forage harvester and and turn it all into into chaff then yeah I'll be able to sell all all of that obviously I'd have to put it into a silage bunker first and get it fermented but I'd be able to sell it all and obviously then I'd have to buy pig food because that's what these three crops are for they're not here to be sold at all I've got the wheat I've got the corn and I've got the the sunflowers but rather than losing the crop completely, I'm thinking I might be able to change it all into silage, sell it at the BGA, with that money, buy pig food, and of course have some digestate as well from that. I don't know if that's possible, so if anybody who is watching this actually knows whether I'd be able to do that, I would really, really appreciate you letting me know down in the comments, because... It is something that I am thinking about, as I said, knowing that I've got this this geo on where I'm going to have a very, very small window of opportunity to do the harvesting. So, nearly done here. One or two more up and down the field. And, yeah, as we can see, this field is much, much easier to do. It's just basically painted in the the areas it's yeah very 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 easy so but i i am going to leave the the manure spreading as, as i mentioned earlier just until the crop starts to come through the ground and then i know i won't be wasting it and i, I know it will be getting 
that third fertilization state. So yeah, it's just missing a bit there. Never mind, I'll, I've got plenty of fertilizer left in the tank, so I've got more than enough to get a full coverage of the field. And yeah, I'm very happy with that. So once I've finished up here, I think it's going to be on to selling that milk that I was talking about. I can't think of any other jobs I need to do today. I did check the silage that I I was making. I've got into the silage bunker only a couple of episodes ago. It's a few weeks ago now, but yeah, only a couple of episodes ago. And uh, yeah, this morning I checked it. It was only at I think 67% fermented so that's going to be another day or two before that's ready and that is just literally to be sold to the biogas plant i'm not using any of that to make up tmr or anything i've got plenty of silage bales for the time being i am running short on hay bales though let's just have a quick look and yes that's all the weeds gone so yeah happy about that as i was saying i am running a little bit short on the hay bales so depending on how quickly the grass grows and the weather forecast as i've said you know we, we, we've got a very wet geo and i don't know if i'm going to have the drying time for for hay it might do if it gets windy it might dry it for me i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll have to wait and see. But if not, like I say, I've got a lot of silage up in the the silage bunkers up on the silage making facility that I've made. And yeah, that'll be going to the BGA quite soon. So yeah, I'll be able to buy hay bales at a worst case scenario. So we're back in the NMC truck with the milk tanker on the back and um, we've got so much milk we don't know what to do with it. So let's have a quick look at the prices. So let's go along to the milk. Oh, we've got one there. 1,438, okay, at the Chocolatiers. So yeah, that's on... In fact, yeah, it's just there next to the next to the shop yeah so that's quite easy to get to and yeah that is a great price and it will hold that price so actually i might i might sell two loads i was thinking only one load i i have only been selling them by the one load but whilst i've got that price and it will stay even after i've sold my first load then yeah i, I might just I might just be a little bit greedy and take two loads there let's see how much money i make from this first load it's definitely going to be enough to buy the the manure spreader but we'll see just coming up to the chocolatiers now i think it's just in here i think it looks like there's a couple of entrances here i haven't been in here before so i'm not 100 percent sure little bit tight for the for the arctic but never mind i'm in there no problem and yeah there we go that's there's a milk cell point so 32,000 liters of milk uh, what was it 1400 and something it's gonna be 40 odd thousand isn't it nearly 50,000 maybe i'll be making here so yeah that, we've got to be happy with that and it's only what 99,000 for the the manure spreader that i want and we've just hit that there so yeah we've got plenty but i am going to be greedy and go for another load as well 46,000 i've just made off that so yeah i'd uh, i'd be daft not to make as much money as i could so back here for the second time and as you can see i've nearly emptied the 
milk tanker and yeah we're making another 46,000 I think it should be there we go 46,031 so yeah really really happy with that and we'll get the the truck and the tanker back to the yard and then yeah I think it's off to buy the manure spreader just coming up to the shop then just pull in here I think it's meant to be an exit only never mind and yeah I haven't bought the manure spreader yet so there we go there's the one we want nice large capacity 32,000 litres and it's going to cost 99,000 euros do we want that yes we do thank you very much there we go let's just get underneath it and yeah it's parked up quite close to the parked cars that is a problem with a lot of maps I'll be honest with you not not just this one I find sometimes when the the positioning of the new vehicles can be a little bit awkward not too bad with this one I seem to remember when I bought the the NMC truck and the milk tanker I had quite a lot of fun getting it out of here I actually had to use the the truck to nudge the milk tanker around a little bit completely unrealistic obviously but yeah I had to nudge it around a little bit just so I could get the truck underneath and pull away but yeah obviously I, w I wouldn't put that on a video but there you go that's what I had to do for that but not too bad with the manure spreader we've got that now and we'll get it back to the yard and filled up with manure ready to go now it is the last day of spring today so I'm thinking that the sunflowers will probably come through the ground tomorrow first day of summer so if that is the case it will be the next episode and yeah I will be getting the manure spreading done as well and hopefully hopefully that silage will be ready to transport to the BGA as well so yeah that's hopefully what we'll be doing in the very near future for now as I said we're just going to load up the manure spreader we'll use the telehandler and the the lightweight bucket 7000 and something litre capacity so yeah it's not going to take me very long to get this filled up at all so we're in the telehandler the class telehandler class scorpion and yeah as I've said this is just going to take a minute or two get this manure loaded up I'm getting so much manure that I'm going to be able to use it for fertilizing and sell some excess as well so that's great I think on the next on the next cycle the well after harvest and I start to fertilize the fields again and what have you I think I'll start with manure that time and then go on to onto the chemical fertilizer as we need to do now on precision farming I think that's a little bit more realistic obviously I'm not doing that on this let's play because I've already started and I believe that if you put precision farming onto a playthrough that you're already doing it will get rid of any fertilization states that you've got on your fields so I don't want that obviously uh, but yeah I will be putting that on to the next let's play I'm doing waiting for I've mentioned many a times waiting for Chellington Valley by Oxygen David really really looking forward to that coming out and yeah I'm thinking about doing precision farming seasons and maybe even on hard difficulty on, on, on the economy for that one making it real tough let's play for me and see how we can do on that 
so okay that's a couple of loads in there I think it'll only be three more and that should do it nearly there now with what should be the last load let's just see well it is good with the last load you can actually see there the manure is actually showing on the top but I think I'll just be able to get a little bit more in there so that is what I'm going to do I, I really doubt I'll fit very much in at all let's just see and there we go yeah just about there okay so that's the manure trailer full the manure spreader full should i say and i just need to empty what i've got left in the bucket here i'll get the scorpion parked up and i'm just wondering where to put the the manure spreader i've got quite a lot of storage areas but yeah I, I seem to be filling them up quite quickly i have got a lot of equipment so yeah and as we can see it's also started to rain it was due to start at 12 o'clock so just a little bit early not too bad and yeah then it stops raining and it's raining again tonight but as i've mentioned we are on quite a, a wet geo here which i think is quite suitable for the alps so not that I'm a weather expert for the Alps, so it's just my thoughts there. So, yeah. Okay. So, I am just looking for somewhere to park the manure spreader. I have actually got a lot of room. It's just I've not been very efficient with it. I've got my equipment quite spaced out, as you can see here. And I think in real life, any company, any business would have their, their equipment closer together parts a little bit tighter up to make more of the room that they have got so like I say I've got a lot of room so I, I just started being a little bit inefficient with it but maybe I'm gonna have to start being a bit more realistic and parking my equipment up a bit better I think it is in the sheds here but yeah not under the under the shelter there so yeah, it's a bit more efficiently parked in here, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we'll get the class parked up in out of the rain. There we go, that will do just about there. So, guys, I think we are just about done for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I'd really appreciate a like. If you're not already subscribed, you may want to think about doing so, so you don't miss any more of our videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.